It was that serious. Well, it was really serious. It was very, very serious. Um, it was a complete renewing for everyone. Um, the house was something indescribable. Um, you know this foggy feeling of a very peaceful home suddenly turning into a poisonous atmosphere of chaos. It was, it was thrilling, but thank God you are here. Hopefully it gets better. Hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to throw this last question to you, Omoye. Oh. <laughs> okay, go on. Yes. I actually do prefer Omoye, maybe because it's indigenous, but um, I want to know, um, how are you feeling in this moment? Uh, what's what's your now that you found your voice and um, you get to share it with the rest of the world what is your advice well Thanks. Oh, you. Why do you have so much confidence that someone would drive by and pick you up? Unfortunately, I don't. I just can't walk the distance. It's quite a hell of a journey. But someone has been noticing me. So, oh, me. Please. Oh. We probably just happened to be close for work, same timing. Maybe. Maybe. I see. You can call me Charity. You can call me Tari, Mr. Tari. Hi. Nice to meet you, Charity. Maybe. Oh, beautiful. Um, sorry, I think I should stop down there. I can I can walk the rest of the distance. You sure? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Okay. So just stop with me, okay? Let's park here. Thank you. All right. Take care of yourself. I'll yes. See you around, eh? All right. One of those your dreams again? Yet again another. Sweetie, you need to get a lot of rest. Please, get some sleep. I don't just understand the consistent dream. I keep seeing how we met when we were much younger but in the bodies of our kids. Hmm. What do you understand by this? I can tell you for free that I don't know. <sighs> Joseph the Dreamer. God will reveal it to you, okay? Please get some sleep. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> I'll dream <now. laughs>
Here you go. With the way you're going, huh? It's almost gonna be that you'll soon be better than your mom, mom, at cooking. Hmm? Well, um, who says I'm not already better? You better be careful what you say. It's not easy to be better than the master, my son. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, mom. Oh, hey, mom, let's watch and see. Your YouTube video doesn't buy you enough experience. <laughs> the experience comes from yeah. generational skills. Oh. Watch and see. Uh, I, I That's this one here. T time will tell, mommy. Is time that will tell. so? Yeah, time will tell. You'd like to know one cut. I will put this thing now. You're not tired of, of calling him a, a thousand year husband material, right? Dad! I mean, don't you think I'd be tired of waiting? <laughs> waiting for what exactly? Of course. Like, listen. Waiting for that perfect day, you both would bring your spouses for your hand in marriage. Is, is that too much to ask? Daddy! Yes. Daddy, I'm still very, 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 uh, very, 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 very young. Why are you in the rush? Edith, okay? Yes, you're young, I agree. But you see the emphasis on that very, 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 just just stick it out. Okay? Okay. Good. Fine. Mm -hmm. Fine. Well, honestly, Daddy, at this point in my life, I'm, I think I'm done dating. I'm just waiting for God's will. You're still stuck with that, your ex? <laughs> no. That I don't mean my ex, God's will. I mean, I'm waiting for the will of God to be done. Listen, Edith, whatever, okay? Whether it is God's will, God's plan, <laughs> God whatever, just just get a decent man. <laughs> man, come on. <sighs> okay, 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 daddy. Any name, I, I, I don't care. Right. Yeah. But we come to think of it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've also dated in God's power. Oh my God. <laughs> but then it seems, it seems like those those guys that have God at the back of their names, they are literally devoted. They, they act like the devil. My goodness. Whatever you're doing, just don't bring a God forbid home one day, okay? <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> time back then. Mommy, do you notice that we barely have any table manner rules working in this house? We do? How do you mean? Well, I mean, we literally don't abide to any dining table rules. Daddy says no talking while eating, but then he goes on and on and on to tell us about his old stories and these rules do not apply to him. <laughs> yeah. <Who's> I? <laughs> I get it. So you're trying to say I should practice what I preach, right? Here mm -hmm. Awesome. No problem. Um, I'll try my best to do that. But good job, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so back to you guys, Larry and Edith. So, when are you bringing your fiance home for us to meet her? I'm not in a hurry. I'm just taking my time to 
be sure to get to know her and be sure and make him the right person. Hmm. Alright, so this is it, huh? I am not putting you both in a rush. But you see, life can be very funny. What I'm trying to say is I'd like to meet your spouse and bless them before I leave. <coughs> Daddy, leave. How? <coughs> well, leaving might not be dying um, right. but at the same time where I leave my death a life the point is soon you all will not be the same me like you used to This is it. Make hay while the sun shines. In a few months, you will not be seen here. Sir, those are heavy words, please. What do you mean? Larry, this was a very good meal. You cook so much like your mother. Hmm? Could barely know the difference. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. All right. <coughs> 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 If you ask me, I think that is just kidding. I don't, I, I don't really think so. I think he just wants us to be responsible. <laughs> well, I think we are responsible enough. Ugh, please. I don't know. Well, yours is easy. You are a woman and you have so many suitors. So you just pick from any of them, but... <laughs> Just make sure you don't bring anybody from that your fellowship to this house. Stop, bro. What's your problem? Especially that your pastor. I don't want to see that What's your pastor. Wrong with I them? don't want to see this What's your fellowship people after, uh, uh, around this house. <laughs> I'm going to my room, which I'm tired. No, good night. Uh. Hello. Um, Hi. Where are you going to? I'm just gonna see Esther down the streets, and we probably will just go for fellowship together. <laughs> Besides, she sends her regards. What? Nothing. I was just going to see your outfit is beautiful. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> see you. I 
Like our fellowship is growing bigger. And very soon we'll outnumber the entire church. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, Pastor. Thank you. Can I see you for a minute? Me? Your sister. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, I noticed you've been really consistent with serving the Lord. We want to appreciate you for that. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank sincerely, you. the Lord is your strength. Thank you. And then again, I realized you've not been speaking to guys in this fellowship. <laughs> is there a problem? Problem? Pastor, there's no problem. I'm here to serve my God. That's my mission here. Guys are not on my priority list. And I think that should not be your priority to Pastor. Oh, yeah. I see. Mm. Interesting. Then, um, what about in your prayers you speak about last time? We. Yeah. <coughs> Pastor, we didn't talk about anything. You only said you think I should pray, and I said there is nothing to pray about. I can't be your wife, oh, Pastor. No, 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 I no, can't. No, 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 Sister Edith, you're not getting it. See, our Lord works in ways we do not understand. His ways are certainly not our ways. And he works in mysterious ways, you know. Yeah. So, come on. But Pastor, I think I will take my leave now. Hmm? My brother is picking me up and we're headed to bed. Well, thank you very much. God bless you immensely. Bless you too, thank Sister. You. <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. Really? Um, yeah. Yes, this, yes, this bartender. Hello? Hey! Yeah. Um, um, what kind of wine do you have? Uh, I would need this. Yeah, I would need this too. And I would need like um, two of, of this. Uh, yeah. And here's any So you know, I am the only daughter of my father. Uh, and he loves me so much. I mean, he loves me so, so much. So he wrote all his properties to me. Uh, then actually March for just some properties in Banana Island. Yeah, and I think he works in real estate or something. I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah, I see. Hmm. He always wishes for a son, he wants a son. But I mean, I'm the son he could ever wish and ask for. What else does he want? Oh, he doesn't have any choice, that's who. <laughs> it's perfect <practice> to me. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. That's so good. Um, so, that is to say you are a top business icon, right? Uh, <laughs> nah, just, just in the making. Oh, in the making? Yeah. Okay, so let's say um, real estate business mogul in the <laughs> making, right? Yeah, you can see that again. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. I see. Um, oh. Wait right here. Oh. So let's see what we have here. Oh. Why is the fish so small? Yeah. Like the ones I eat, they are so bigger than this. Like really, really, really. Uh, where, 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 where do you get them from? <laughs> the places I go, um, I you know I, I go out a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have yeah. fun time oh, wow. always. Oh, so, inter I mean, interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. <laughs> this is so small. Oh. But anyways, I mean, we don't have any other choice, right? <laughs> Hell of a Bologna. Why are you teasing me? No, no, I'm not, I'm not teasing you. <laughs> the way you, you, you're eating, you're eating like you've not had anything to eat for the past <laughs> six weeks. Huh? No, actually, I actually don't eat so much. I'm actually on a diet. Oh, wow. You're on a diet? Like this? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Oh, 
I see. Hmm. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Let me take this call. Hello? Yeah. You're at the supermarket? Oh, oh. I'll, I'll, I'll join you shortly. Hmm? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, um, I need to be on my way. My sister needs me. Hmm? Baby. Don't call me baby. I'm not your baby. Of, of this. Oh, you're the daughter of a billionaire now. You can handle this. Come on, just take care of this, eh? Special too is just that sometimes you forget to lock up your brain, so it just tends to leak out. But you, but you know what I'm saying? Stop shots. <laughs> See, you're beautiful, but you never get to go out. So how is um, a man supposed to see you? All you do is lock yourself up in the room, or go to church, and you give all the Virgin Mary vibes. I think very soon we should be expecting a Virgin bed. Well, obviously, because at this pace you're going, nobody's son will find you. No, but at least I'm online. I, I try to mingle, to interact. You know, oh, I see. I see. I, I see how fight has helped you. See, I'm in the best position to advise you as you got this whole online shit. Mm. You know, the, what I other versus what I got. Mm -hmm. At least I experienced one today. <laughs> well, I'm just like, so tired. See, just go to bed. But I mean, you still have um, orders to make online. Hmm? Can you, can you Mad not? Madam Mad 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 Online Shopper, please go to bed and get some rest. Okay, it's, it's a long day tomorrow. I don't understand you these days, though. This one that you're always home nowadays. What's going on? Well, baby, like I told you, uh, I'm tired of being the building of the family. I am tired of working with the family. Okay? I just want to relax, and myself and my wife will be taken care of. Mr. Man, you should take over the battle. <laughs> I don't understand how that is. Uh, like I just want you to take over, take the seat and, and run things. You you can't, can't you? Oh. It's beginning to make sense. <laughs> yeah, of course it has to make sense. I, I, I mean you, you may not be able to win bread, okay? You can even if it's changing, it's, it's fine. It's it's a good start. I know the breadwinner, you can be the changing one. You can start from there. Hmm? <laughs> Daddy, please, can you stop with all your parables? Eh? What are you trying to say exactly? Apo, ah, I'm a person where they walk, not deserve to chop again. Ugh. It's like you guys don't understand what I'm talking about. I just want to relax, hand the company over to, to you, Bo, okay? But then again, it's uh, uh, under one condition, all right? You have to be married before that will happen. I mean, this is a, this is a huge opportunity. You can 
either choose to waste it or utilize it, but you must be married. Otherwise, I'll just hand over the, the company and will it to one of my uh, junior staff, if that's what you want. Daddy, why would you do that? Why, why would I? Pedro. Why would I? Hmm. Okay. Uh, hey, Mr. Woman, I hope you are not trying to bring that, uh, that, that riffraff to this house and say it's your husband's bull crap. Uh, uh, you shouldn't be using those words in front of the children. Are you sure the others are just saying something like this? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I hope you guys don't think that I'm, I'm joking. Look at that. They're always laughing whenever you are trying to be serious. Wait, oh, look at my eye. Do, do I look like I'm joking? <laughs> okay. It's alright. Yes. But mom, is he really serious? Hmm. Really? Are you telling me you can't tell when he is? I can, but. That's what? Hmm? Hmm? Larry, are you trying to tell me you don't know your father for this long? I do, but. I just think there's more to his desire for us to get married. Okay. And you're not wrong. Hmm? It's every parent's dream to see their kid, you know, succeed in life. But mom, we're not kids. Well, that's a fact. But you know, you will always be a kid to me. Mm? Every offspring is their babies. You're my baby. I, I understand that, Mom, but it is about his properties. He can only really bring to my sister if she gets a spouse before me. And that is my point. Why we need to talk. Larry, you're the first child of your father. Okay? And you need to lead by example. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. It's going to make me happy. In fact, it's going to make your father and I very happy to see you get married. It's going to be a fulfillment to see you actually do this. But mom is... It will be good to know that you will inherit your father's items. And you will lead his properties, not the other way around. But mom, is, is, is this a fight for leadership? Mm. What do you think it is? I would rather see it as... as a motivation by my parents. All right then, that's fine. But it's far more than that. I and your mom will be traveling. Edith, you are young, you are beautiful, you are adorable, you are intelligent. Mm -hmm. You should be desired by many. Listen, it, it's not uncommon for uh, young girls like you to, to, to get married early. Listen, I, I know you might be thinking, oh, um, I have Larry, he's my elder brother, he should be married before I get married. That's not true, okay? At your age, you should be married. Dad, I'm not waiting for anyone. I just feel like it's improper to put your children on that duress to, to live a certain way. Listen, I understand your pain, but I believe soon you would realize how happy I am to see you both smile. So when are you both traveling? I thought you weren't interested in our travel. Oh, please. <laughs> Just want to know when and where. Canada. When? Weekend. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, you mean next weekend because tomorrow is Friday? 
the day after tomorrow. Daddy! What? That's not fair. You can't just up and leave. No, but you have everything at your disposal. There's the, the drivers are dead, the, the cook, the maid, the, everybody. Haven't you noticed? Notice what? I barely even use them. And that's because you decided that they weren't going to stay in the same building as you. It is. You'll be fine. Okay? you feel that way? Mm. Well, I know what your food tastes like. Mm. Let me taste that. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hmm. See? The taste is in the difference. Mm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you see? You see? <laughs> well, let's just say your brother here has many ways to make the same meal. Mm. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is clear. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so why have you stopped with it? Well, oh, sweetie, she's still Larry good. just loves the kitchen. Like, he wants to impress everybody. So I left it for him. Hey, little miss, don't let that be your excuse. If you were in your husband's house, you would be cooking every day. Okay, that's good. Um, anyways, um, I hope your mom told you guys we were traveling. Traveling? I was going to tell Larry yesterday and I was going to tell you today. So when are you traveling and for how long? I think if others run to that. Okay. Well, um, soon? For how long? I really don't know. I'm not sure, but I know it's um, well over three months. What? Three months? Yeah. That's indirectly saying almost half a year. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Or even more. Uh, Mom. I see that you guys are trying to run away. Uh, so who is going to be taking care of the company while, while you're away? Have I not been doing that remotely? I will well continue to do that, so it's not a problem. Well, have a safe trip. Larry, are you done? Your... Okay, he's done. I guess he's done too. Oh, oh no. Come back, come back. It's fine, thank you. That's fine.
Yeah, so we called to ask you guys if you'd like to take a long break. I mean, in all fairness, <laughs> the people who you work for have traveled, so you will literally be doing nothing. Um, you have two options. You can go on a break, but if you want to stay back, just know you'd have basically nothing to do. You can clean the house and do the basic things around here, so mm -hmm. we won't be needing you. And if you choose that option, we'll pay you half your salary because <laughs> you, you're not doing anything much. You understand? So would you stay or would you go? Um, actually, I think I'd rather stay. Oh. <laughs> I never speak English <laughs> too much for you. Um, <laughs> Madam, what about you? Uh, Oga, okay. I would rather stay. Mm -hmm. Well, good, but if you're staying, just know that our parents will be away for a long time. So, be ready to cope with all them. I shall pay them their fees. That's okay. Okay. All right, so you guys can stay. We'll pay your complete fees. I hope you're happy now. Yeah. Thank, uh, you. thank you, thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, so what we doing now? We'll just be lonely and bored in this big house. Or oh, what is that? Yeah, I just know I'm hungry. Yeah, you're making something now. I'm doing it. What is going on here? So you, you finally made up your mind? <laughs> on what? Resuming your feminine duties, of <laughs> Duh. I was never off it. You were just so interested in basking in the glory of your cooking skills. So I let you. You want to impress everybody now. Seriously. <laughs> Anyways, you can cook, Sha, so enjoy yourself. It's just one of those days. This actually smells nice. Of course. <laughs> yeah, you're learning very fast. Uh, yeah, yeah. And you're, you're trying to mix you? Yep. So this ego will manage it for like three days, then I think about it and Yeah. What is it? Uh, the Gitma the, 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 the said there's a man outside. And does he want to see his daughter, Omoni? Larry, sit down, what do they want? Come here for yourself. Ah. What's going on? What? Repeat what you said. There's a man outside. Mm -hmm. the Madam, he said he wants to see his daughter, Omoye. <laughs> what? Would you think I'd have been like this right here in one hour? Wait, are you sure it's not one of these serial boyfriends? Oh. I'm thinking maybe that, that's pastor. The, the one you guys call my daddy in the Lord. <laughs> You're good now. Stop it. Go and welcome your daddy. Go, just go, 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 go. <laughs> Come, let's go. Who's your daddy? Who's that? Your, your daddy in the Lord. Okay, okay, I see me. Okay, big, I big, no, they drop for mine now. What? I beg, put. Hey, what you are doing? What you are doing? Okay. What's wrong with you? I see me, no, 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 Nobody has ever called me that name except my grandma. Your grandma. <laughs> who, who are you? Oh boy, I have a lot of apologies. <laughs> what, what, you, what do you mean by apologies? <laughs> no. Your brother? I, yes. Sorry, I'm I'm getting uncomfortable. I'm getting confused. I'm getting worked up. Can, can you... Okay. okay. I will appreciate if you grant me forgiveness. Okay? I know it's quite difficult for both of you to believe what you just heard. But you can find out the truth from your grandparents at your mother's side. <coughs> Sir. If I understand you correctly, what you're trying to tell us is that our parents have been deceiving us. Or like you put it, they've been lying to us and keeping a secret away from us. That, that, that we are not related by blood. He's not my brother, I'm not his sister. What exactly are you saying? 
and that you are her biological father and you're not our father. <laughs> you're sounding crazy here. You're not making sense. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I, this is not oh, I think I understand what's going on here, brother. So, <clears throat> you strange man, you think you can just come into my house to destroy my family? Our family! You're joking. But I think we've been kind enough, don't you think so? It's time for you to leave. Out. Now. Sweetie, please calm down. Calm down for what? Edit, edit, take it easy. What is he saying now? Just calm down. Just calm down. Um, even if we're going to send him away, we need answers. We need to ask him some questions. No, Larry, no. Just calm. Larry, can't Can you listen to me? Just chill. Calm down. Can't you see that this man here is a freaking psychic? I mean, literally, he's lying to us. He wants money. He's broke. He wants to rip us off. Anything. He's lying. Just chill. Um, sir, please explain to me. If my mother is not my mother, then who's my dad? You also. Now? <sighs> okay. Let me break it down. Your parents married as single parents. Yes. She is my daughter. As a matter of fact, your mother died at childbirth. Actually, I've been ungrateful and unsatisfied with the woman I had. She caught me in the act, red-handed. And she swore never to come back to me again. In that case, I've been looking for her everywhere. But she, has, she was nowhere to be found. Now, and I couldn't live again finding out that my daughter has grown into a beautiful woman. Just stop, okay? Stop, 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 stop saying that. Stop, stop calling me. Stop calling me your daughter. You, you, you know my father. Larry is not my father. Stop calling me your daughter. I'm not. Larry. Larry, this man is lying. Tell me he's lying. I'm looking at this man and he doesn't look like someone who's lying. You believe the nonsense he's saying? You're not my father. You can never be my father. You will never be my father. It's not lying. It's not what he's not saying. Sir. I understand that this world is a wicked place and people lie indiscriminately, people deceive people for different reasons, but I can't seem to understand why our parents will keep this secret away from us. Or why you just walk in here and decide to lie to us. Can you help me talk to her, please? Talk to her. Talk to her and tell her what? That you are a father who left her mom and all of a sudden you just surfaced from the blues and everybody's supposed to welcome you with open arms. Okay, okay. Can, can you just forgive me? Because I was young then. What are, what, are you, what are you talking about forgiveness? Forgive you for what? Oh God, you've not done anything to me. I don't have a business with you. I just need to speak with my parents. In that case, when are your parents returning? Who told you my parents are not around? You're okay, man. I'm gonna get her from here. Leave this place, Oga. Go! Alright. I will leave.
Hey. Leave me alone. So you actually believe that lunatic? Huh? I'm sorry, but right now I'm not, I'm not sure what to believe in. Harry, what is there to believe? Like he's just a rival of daddy. Can't you see it? It is it's clear. He wants to destroy our family. Maybe daddy did something to him in the past. He wants to get back at us. A scandal, a propaganda, anything. I mean, you know these things. Come on. Okay, okay. I, 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 I mean, he's lying, right? He's lying. But if you really think he's lying, why are you just feeling broken and disappointed? I, I, I'm not. I, I'm just worried about why you should believe him. I'm not. See, the truth is, if there's no other of truth in what he said, you shouldn't be looking this way. You shouldn't be pained. I'm, I'm not pained, Larry. I'm not. I'm not pained. I'm just scared. No. I think uh, we need to just put our heads together and figure out the whole truth. Why, why, why do you think mom and dad will keep something this huge from us? After all these years, why? What from us? The truth! Oh, I thought he was lying. Oh, come on, Larry, please. I'm just saying my thoughts out loud. Oh, um, see, right now, I think we should just uh, calm down and investigate this. Mom and dad don't really know about it. Just keep the secret to ourselves and just do some finding. Hmm? Um, I remember he mentioned something about you getting some information from your grandma from your mom's side. <laughs> really? Larry, can you can you hear yourself? From my mother's side. Oh, it's, it's now my mother's side now. I'm sorry, huh? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, you know I was just quoting from I was just repeating. Just what making you said. things worse. I'm sorry, but I think we need to go see Daddy tomorrow. I think that, that should help and see how much information we can get. Hmm? Yeah, okay. Get yourself together, eh? Everything will be fine. Okay? Get back to your room. Get some rest. Everything. 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 Granny, how are you doing? As you can see. Hmm? <laughs> hmm. My Special baby. Oh my, my love. So, how are you? Oh, thank you, dear. So, to what do I owe this special visit? Granny, uh, how is everything fine? Grandma, where's my dad? Whoa. <laughs> ah, you're already missing him. He said he's going to Canada, didn't he? I mean, my biological father. Mr. Charles, the one who named me Omoye. You met Charles already? Grandma, so this is true. That Edith is not my biological sister. I I asked your parents to let you know, but, but they, they insisted. Granny, for how long? For how long? Grandma, how many of you are in this conspiracy to hide this truth from us? Don't we deserve to know who, 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 who we, we, we really are? I think your parents want the best for you. They know better. So, so when did they intend to tell us? I asked them <laughs> and they said until both of you get married. I see. It's all beginning to make sense. <laughs> Thank you so much, Grandma. Thank you! Oh my yeah! Oh my yeah! Grandma, stop! That name stinks! Uh, it's not my fault. Just just call her Edith instead. Uh, Granny, I understand that this is not your fault. Thank you so much for telling us. Thank you for your time.
much. Life is basically on pause till I find out who I really am. <clears throat> Are you going to see me? Who? The stranger or Mr. Charles? No. Not at all. <laughs> I'm going to the market. I need to stock up the fridge. We're almost out of foodstuffs. So. Okay. Maybe I should go with you. Oh, Mr. Doctor, try not to send me. Oh, no, you don't know how to buy things to my taste. I'd rather go myself. Yeah? Okay, then. Alright, then. Uh, oh, wait, are you, are you going out? No, why? <laughs> why are you all dressed up? Oh. I just didn't want to look a mess. I, I just decided to chill. I see. Alright, then, no problem. Bye. Alright, take care. On a second thought, why don't you come for fellowship with me? Come on now. I mean, with everything that's happened, we definitely need like some sort of distraction. I'm honestly not even interested in going, but let's just get out of here to help. Besides, Esther, my friend, you know her now. She's been asking me to give her your number, and I've just been... Don't give my number to anybody. Why now? Esther! She's my only friend in the estate. I am not interested. Don't give anyone my number, please. Thank you. Come on now, please. Hmm? Okay, you know what? The fellowship is not long. It's just like five to seven, basically two hours, and we're back in a jiffy. So let's just go. Let's get out. And at a time like this, we need to make new friends. Don't you think so? You must really think I'm still interested in this marriage thing that I was talking about. I know, but it's a yes or a no. Do you want to come with me? Please. Besides, I don't want to go myself. Please, no. Please, 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 please. I'll think about it. Oh, no, 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 please, no. Please, please, please. I'll go. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You just made my day. Thank you so much. All right, so when I get back from the market, we'll go for the fellowship in the evening, and yeah, OK? I'll be waiting. Thank you. That's my brother. <laughs> Thank you. Is it 
I see you being set very far above your parents. Amen. Thank, thank you so much, Pastor. See, you're going places. Amen. Amen, Pastor. You're going places. Amen. I see that. I see that you're going yeah. places. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, if I had not told him, he wouldn't have been here. You should have told me before doing it. What would have changed? I would have dressed differently. Uh. <laughs> because of man. Ordinary man. To you is ordinary, but to me, He's the most handsome man I've ever seen in this estate. Uh. You see, there's a level of glory that the Lord wants to manifest in your life uh. to make you stand out. Amen. Amen. Uh, Larry, my brother, the most handsome man I've ever seen in this estate. Yes, every girl's dream man. Every girl's dream man. Yes. Let's just cut the crap, okay? Do what you have to do. Talk uh. to him if you want to. Ask him being shy. All right. Snap out of it. I've heard you. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's just wait. I say my God will shock you. Amen, Pastor. God, God, God bless. God bless you. So here's what you're going to do, right? When he comes, tuck your hair in. Put your hair behind your back. Do you have your gloves? Yeah. If you have your gloves, wear it. Mm -hmm. So when he comes here, you just talk to him. You greet him, alright? Am I good? You look pretty. I think you're okay. Just do it. Just do it. Don't do too much. So it's not like you are trying to get his attention or anything. Don't do too much. Just wait. Yes, yes. Um, sorry, I, I, sh I should be on my way now, Pastor. Yeah, I hope we could be seeing you more often. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll try my best. I'll try my yes. best. Yeah, Brother Larry, right? Yeah, Larry. Thank, you, thank you so God much, Pastor. Bless. You're blessed. Sir, what's with this, sir? Good evening. Anyways, Larry, this is my beloved sister. And my beloved sister, this is my beloved brother. Oh, nice to meet you, sister. I am Larry. Sister. Don't mind. I know. Oh. I'm, I'm Esther. You're Esther. I, I, I know that too. I know that too. Um, you, you smile pretty well. Thank you. You're actually very cute. Oh, wow. Thank you. I, I get that a lot, you know. How do you cope? Cope? Seems a lot of them might be flirting with you. Oh, do I cope? I, I don't cope. So you just fall for them? Nah, I run away from them. I'm going to run away from you too. Oh, how do you mean? Because I actually admire you by saying you're cute. Oh, with that. I was just telling you how I avoid outbreak. It's nothing that serious. Yeah. Okay, I see. Well, it's been beautiful talking to you. Thank you. You seem shy. I'm just tired and stressed. You should get some rest then. Alright. Yeah. Alright, take care. I'll, I'll see you around. Eh? Um, what, what was that distance for? What do you mean? I mean, I obviously had to give you two lovey dovey birds some talking space, you that know. That was absolutely unnecessary. Uh, anyways, I am happy that you are happy. I'm happy how? <laughs> I saw you guys hugging. That was just a friendly hug. Uh, indeed. But I see you hug most of your friends. From friends that absolutely have no feelings for me. So who says she has feelings for me? I do. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, I don't want my brother looking too cheap. You know, you have to package now. Let her know your horse cake. If you knew you were going to be this jealous, then you didn't have any business starting this whole charade in the first place. Jealous? So, Me? Of course, of course, what is it? Like, it's beginning <laughs> to look like it. Come on, it's the truth. Gotcha. Anyways, I'm just happy that we're able to ease off this whole yeah, crazy just, drama stress. It was needed. It was needed. Like, I, I, I feel a lot better. Let me uh, let's, let's... Oh, that is good to hear. 
about how are you? It's okay. We are doing fine. And you? I'm not fine, no. What is it? Talk to me. It's your children, no. And what's wrong with them? They have found out. Found out what? Our long time kept secret. I told you to tell them, but you told me they, that everything is under perfect control. I don't understand. What do you mean they found out? They have found out they are not related. Oh my yes, father. I don't even know how he managed to trace the house. He came asking for his daughter. How did this happen? I can't explain. So how are they? <laughs> they are disappointed, distraughted, and you know what? They are even uncontrollable. You know they listen to me, but this time around there is nothing I tell them that holds water to them at all. So how, how did you find out? They were here. <clears throat> it's okay. Have they returned back since then? No. They must be really disappointed. We feel them in betrayal. I agree. I'm trying. Thanks, ma'am. Be safe. Thank you. Bye. Great. And you too. Bye. Oh. Um, coming to this house just gives me some kind of memories that I don't enjoy. Same here. You, you know what, sometimes I just wish when I, when I wake up, I'll just realize that this is just a dream and it'll be gone. And then you wake up and then you realize that it's so real. Oh. Think about the pain. <laughs> Sad, sadly. I don't know. Sometimes I, I just so many things are just running through my mind. I just want to run away. Like when they get back, they won't find me. Like Larry, you, you can't blame me. I'm thinking don't. of one thousand and one ways to hurt them, to get back at them. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think that's a very good idea. It's okay to get hurt and hurt them unconsciously, but to consciously plan to hurt your parents. No, I don't. I don't think that's a good idea. And so, <coughs> wait. Do you think I care? Larry, what they did was a conscious effort. Don't you know how hot we are? Did they think about our feelings? Did they consider us? I still think I still think it's not a good idea to consciously want to hurt them. Who's that? Who's that? That. Why? Why? What would I say? Just pretend like everything is okay. Pick the call. Take it. Take take the call. Put it on speaker. Hi, Daddy. How are you, my baby? Yeah, I'm fine, Daddy. Thank you. You've not called us in a while. I'm sorry, my dear. How is your brother? Yeah, he's fine, but he's not around. Hope you guys are fine and there's no problem. Yes, 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 Daddy. Yes, we're fine. Uh, uh, Daddy, I'll call you back in a bit. Okay, bye. Why, why did he call us all of a sudden? I don't know, I'm not sure. So, what next? If you ask me, would I ask? Anyways, your meal is great again. I think I took a small portion. <laughs> In this life, eat first. I'm going to take more. I'll be right back. Enjoy yourself. Coming. Eat it. Eat it. Come, mom is calling me.
Hi, mom. My son. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How is dad? We're all good. Guess you must have missed us. And yes, we have missed your African dishes. Um, yes, mom. Yes. Hope there's no problem. Um, no, no problem at all, you know. We're not used to creating problems. Nobody. Nobody, Mom. Nobody. You mean no one came? Come on, Mom. Are you expecting someone? No, no, no. I'm just um, thinking. Mom, nobody came around. Nobody. Um, Mom, sorry. I was doing something before you called. I would have to get back to what I was doing. I'll call you when I'm done. Love you. Sorry, I came unannounced. Are, are you okay? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I, I don't know. I, I've been, I've been having this weird feeling about everything. I think you'll be coming back anytime soon. So fast. Yeah. Didn't you feel your reaction over the phone? I am certain they will not be able to sleep another night. I think you'll be coming tomorrow or next. So, what are you suggesting then? Mm. I think it's best they don't meet me when they get back. <laughs> what are you saying? Why, why you and not me? Come on, you're a lady. I do not agree with that. Mary, I'm suspecting you. What are you up to? No, nothing. Nothing. Never, never mind. We'll both stay. We'll be around when they come and we'll, we'll receive them together. I think I should be getting back to my room. Sorry I stressed you. Um, I don't think that was necessary. I'm, I'm done asking you what I came here for. Hmm? Good night. Try to show that you're the one I love. I try to show that there's no one else but you. I try to let you know I believe in us. And I try to never let you slip away. I love you, I'm sorry. I love you, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Larry. I love you. I'm sorry. Larry. Uh, uh, hey, uh, sorry. Please, have you seen my brother, Larry? No, 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 no. Uh, are you serious? I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. This is really weird. How do I scale through this reality? Should I just fly out of the country? I'm just confused. together and here you are Please letting me down just so let me know i'm sorry just come inside who came to the bar I. Really, Larry, I. It should be we. Come on. Can you do me a favor for now? Call me your way. I want to accept the fact that this is my reality and not wander on something that is not. I mean, you've been a good brother all along and I appreciate you for that. But then let's just embrace the fact that we're not blood at this point. Cause I, I, I can't. I'm not getting it. What do you mean you don't know where they're heading to? No, ma'am. Um, Ogalari left first, and um, Madame left the next day as well. All right. You both can leave. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. It's still switched off. Their numbers are switched off. Both of them. Are you not going to say anything? You just... Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to face them now that they have found out. I don't. I just know them together. Why do you feel so? Because that's how we train them. Like twins. And I know my children will never accept this fate. The deal has been done. They are grown-ups. They will be fine. 
Take it easy. Just a few cups, and you're, you're already up to me. She's tired. It's in the mud. She's tired. It's in the mud. I'm going to call me. Oh, yeah. You're yeah, fine. Sister Moya is drunk. <laughs> that that sounds a bit right? I'm drunk. I'm not drunk. Am I? <sighs> I, I guess so. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah. You're going to give me your friend's number. You're supposed to give me Esther's number. Yeah. You want her number? Do you really? Mm. Not, not really, but she's cool. Mm. Whatever. <sighs> Wait. Wait. I don't think you should be getting her contact. It's going to just make your little sister jealous. How, how do you mean? Oh, stop, your life stop. Stop talking. Are you, are you okay? Mm. <laughs> Alright, go. Rest your head here. Yeah. Take it easy, take it easy. Just rest your head. <sighs> Take it easy, <laughs> chill. Don't worry, you'll be fine, eh? It's just alcohol. You'll be fine.
Still doing there, come to the bed. You just get confused, you just sleep on the bed. Get the other one, or money. Are you joking? Seriously. Will you stop that nonsense. Come to the bed, please. No, you sleep then. Come to the bed. Stop now. Stop. I'm not gonna let you sleep there. Come to the bed. Fine, yeah, you sleep. Let's, let's I'm, for the fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Come. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, right, come, come. Yeah, I'm not for me. Come. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Uh, you're joking with me, ba? Okay, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right, stop, stop, stop. All right, just. What's wrong with you now? Don't worry, sleep. Don't worry, by tomorrow we'll decide what to do, but for now, let's get some rest there. Don't worry, sleep, your shaka rest too much. <sighs> Can you just sleep? Yes, I've been seeing you all my life, but I can't tell why. Why was Larry? Never mind. Ne never mind. Hmm. Wow. Um, we really need to go home today. I think they know already, so um, it's best we just go and hear from the horse's mouth. Sorry, dear. I promise you we'll go through this phase together and we'll start off on a new slate. Huh? Truthfully, you have every reason to do so. But, um, listen, we, we were young, and ignorant, and crazy in love. At a time, your mother was the most beautiful and kind. I already had you as a son then. Your mother died during childbirth, so I was a single father at the time. I never knew I could ever love another woman like I loved your mom, until I met your sister's mom, Charity.
She was also a single mother, but she hid it away from a lot of men because no one wanted to marry her with a child. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> but really, why do you have so much confidence that someone's going to pick you up? How can well, you I don't. It's just that I, I can't walk work. the distance. It's a hell of a journey. Of course you must have to see me then. Well, of course. <laughs> I suppose we both just close from our various jobs pretty much at the same time. Maybe. <laughs> By the way, my name's Charity. Oh, um, you can call me Mr. Tare. Mr.? Cool. Um, okay, you, you can just uh, stop here. I can walk the rest of the journey. Oh, okay. Um, Tunde, please, over there. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Too quick, we became friends and finally fell in love. But both of us had secrets we never knew would bond us even stronger. So that night, we were so in love, but we both felt a void in us because our fear became God over us. Finally, she spoke. I asked him if he truly loved me and he promised me he will never leave me. I promised. I did. I said to him, I have a child, a daughter. I know you had no choice, and that's why I didn't want to tell you that I had a daughter. I just felt you would leave like everyone else. I wasn't going to leave, and I'm not going to leave. Your father had a strong thing. <laughs> so he made use of sentences that always took me off my seat. So what are you saying? We're best for each other. So what about my daughter? She'll be our second child. What do you mean? Because I have a song. In fact, it all happened so quickly, so quickly. We both took an oath and said we would never maltreat each other's child or treat them any less important. I am sorry. That was how we decided that we were going to show more love, more care, attention, and time to our opposite children. Yeah, that's very true. That's the love switch that we used. Larry, Edith, it was our plan. I we're never going to let you both know that you aren't related. You can stay right in my Amaya, heart is okay. you've seen your Larry by just eight months. As long as you are in my world is okay. I'll do the necessary, surely you would. Everything that, that we own, the company, the businesses we have, was sponsored by Charity's late father and herself, in that she's from a rich and wealthy family. They realized that I had great ideas and innovation, and everything that I lay my hands on prospers. Please, we are so sorry that we never told you both. We just didn't know when or how we would even say this. Please forgive us. Please, my darling. Listen, we just thought that, you know, any one of you who brought a spouse first was going to take a greater share of the company and the family's wealth. 
<clears throat> so what if we're not interested in splitting the family as well? What do you mean? Mm. That mom um, in the secretary of us uh, hurt us so so much. But we have decided to forgive you. I know. I know. That's not just that. Edit. Omoye has found someone special around there. Oh. She's ready to get married. Really? That's. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> this is great news. Really? And um, I found the love of my life and I am ready to get married too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this calls for celebration. Are, are you serious? <laughs> wow. Um, 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 Emmanuel. Daddy, hold on. Uh, what? <laughs> We're not done telling you. You've not asked us where our spouses are. Oh, listen, we don't need to know where they are right now, okay? They, they can come tomorrow. They can come <laughs> whenever. One hour time. Anytime. Whatever we. Daddy, they are, they are right here. Ha <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> You brought them here. <laughs> Are you guys joking? <laughs> Where are they now? Now? Mom. Dad. I and Momo, you have decided to get married. Surprise. You said <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you guys have got jokes today. <laughs> Down. Abomination! What? Are you out of your mind? So, how do we go about splitting the family's wealth now? This is a joke, right? Sorry, Dad. No, very serious. We are getting married. How many people are we going to explain this to? How many people are we going to tell the truth to? Hmm? Where are we going to start from? <laughs> Sweetie, this is the biggest shame we can ever have. And this is really also going to affect your political ambition. Oh my goodness, what is this, God? This is incest. I would make sure I stop it at all costs. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? No, okay. Are you are you sure this plan will work? Of course it is. Can't you see they're already feeling hot? Well, I'm I'm not concerned about them. I'm talking about us. You think we we'll fall in love with ourselves and get hot? I don't think I, I know we're in love with each other. We're just fighting it. What am I even saying? But bye.
to hold your hands. I won't let you down. I won't let you fall. Go away. I'll be the one to wipe your tears. I'll dry them up. I'll dry them up. Go away. I'll be the one to hide your weakness. I'll be your strength. I'll be your hands. Uh, I'll be the one to be your shelter. I'll be your guy. I'll be your home. Oh, I'm your Superman. I'm your Superman. I'll be your Superman. I'll be your Superman. I'm your Superman. I'm your Superman. I'll be your Superman. Is that? Ooh, hi. Hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Okay. Well, I guess it's time, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah. It's only right that we get back to them. But like, have you? Have you, like, ever considered my feelings or what I really want? How do you mean? I, I, I am confused. What if I don't want you to stop? I mean, but we agreed to tell them that we're in love just to get back at them. And what if I don't want it to change, Larry? What if this is what I want? What if I want them to believe that there's, this is the reality and there's no other reality than this? You're not, you're not getting me. Larry. What if it's too late and I'm already in love with you? You know, ju just just forget I said that. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I uh, it's fine if you don't love me. I understand. <laughs> just never mind that. But how do you explain this nonsense? Please just let me know. I cannot take it no more. Please just let me know. Oh. I booked us a show. The moment we get that show. So you get to tell the world our story and you give us your opinion. What do you say? <laughs> Let's go fix us. Change out to you. Wakey, wakey, it's breakfast time. Morning is upon us. Hello, <laughs> thank you for coming. You. Hi, Hi. hello, Thanks lovely to meet us. you. Thank you for coming. Please do take a seat. Give me a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine, wait, Larry. Anywho, how are you? I'm all right. You good. good? Hope it wasn't a hassle getting here. No, no, no. It's um, just, just cool. Good. Um, have they been mined? I think. All right. So, um, I think. One, two, sound check. Can you hear me? Good. Yeah, yeah. All right, please. 
So are you guys ready? Oh, I guess. I mean, just relax. It's, it's going to be... <laughs> yes. I mean, no, that was funny. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, so judging from the look of things, I mean, from our colors and incoming tweets, it is safe to say that a uh, lot of people have a divided opinion about the both of you getting married. However, a lot more people are on the side of um, you guys doing whatever it is you want to do just as long as your parents give their consent. Well, um, <clears throat> you know, the reason why we decided to come on the show to, you know, talk about our situation was to change the narrative that our parents has about us. You, they think this is incest. I mean, <laughs> we believe it's not because they're worried about how many people they have to tell. But in this modern day and age, I mean, <laughs> There's so many devices, so many mediums that you could use to tell the world your story. And that's why we're here. Absolutely. Um, well, just to set things straight, um, we're not in any form of relationship yet. Yeah. And we've not concluded on getting married, but we see the possibility of what the future holds for us. So we said, if not, why not? We decided to come share our story. Okay. So. You did make mention that the first time you told your parents, I mean, your mom actually fainted. <laughs> it uh, wasn't that serious. Well, it was It was very, very serious. Um, it was a complete renewing for everyone. Um, the house was um, something indescribable. You know this foggy atmosphere of a very peaceful home suddenly turned into a poisonous air, like total chaos. Um, it, was, it was chilling. It was, it was um, Oh, we're good. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to throw this last question to Omoye. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I think I actually do prefer Omoye, maybe because it's indigenous. Thank but you. Um, how are you feeling right now in this moment, knowing that you found your voice and um, you get to air your views to the general public? What would your advice be? 